Love Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, tried to steal from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans and intent of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. <coughs> Judgment is final. So I am going to put this car, I shouldn't get the bell and this car flipped out. So I'm going to put this bell, I mean this car out here. I hope you all are doing well. Staying blessed and highly favored because you absolutely are. Let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. You have someone out here that's going to be paying for some type of magic, some type of manipulation to take place. So is that someone is still set in some type of energy to block your abundance, block some type of relationship and whatever offer they are going to give to someone is going to be rejected. There is something going on in the spiritual community where it's, this, it's like there's a feminine energy that is obsessed with not only a masculine that she wants to choose her for an opportunity in a relationship, but she's also uh, obsessed with another feminine energy whom she believes that this masculine is interested in. It's that like you almost have like a Tupac and Diddy, P. Diddy thing going on. Uh, it, uh, you know, uh, before Tupac became Machiavelli. The remember the story behind it was that uh well what we're learning today is that P. Diddy was going out of his way basically to be in all of the same spaces as Tupac, copying his style, wanting to sleep with everybody that Tupac uh, uh was sleeping with, and then it got so uh, unbearable that Tupac ended up changing his um uh, his uh, uh, persona to Machiavelli, right? So this is something that's going on. You have one feminine energy that's very karmic, um, not in touch with her. <clears throat> She's not exactly like high vibrational. This is someone that pretends to be high vibrational, but she has her eyes on you because she knows that you're someone very creative, very abundant when it comes to creativity. You're very healing and things like that. And maybe there may be a masculine that is aware of you, interested in working with you, and she has been doing things to interfere with that. So she has been going as far as trying to copy someone else's personality, copy someone else's work. But while she's copying your work, she is blocking you or having someone manipulate your work so that people cannot see you. People don't have access to you. Uh, people don't find value in your work, but then she's put on a pedestal and it's felt and she feels like she's better than you. So it's like someone being obsessed with you, wanting to be you, wanting to be you, but dislike you at the same time. It's really disturbing because there is a difference between admiring someone and being obsessed with someone. There's a woman that has kind of crossed the line, the boundaries between those two. She has gone from, I don't even think she wants to admit the fact that she admires another person because she sees you to be a thinks you to be lower than her. Like she says, you're beneath her, but let alone she's out here copying people, pretending to be you, but she feels that she's better than you. The hypocrisy of it does not even make sense. So I'm not even going to try because you all know my little brain cannot function that, that advance into the future or into any situation. That's just too much. So I'm going to stick to my lane. My brain doesn't function that way, so I don't want to come on here and pretend like I understand how her mindset works and the logic in there because I'm not going to get any logic out of it. So my pea-sized little brain of mine and R are going to stay in our lane. But just know that there is a feminine energy out here that is obsessed with a healer who could be a queen of cups and is very wise knowing excuse me look at that very, should i put this out i'm gonna put it out because it's like it flew out it's like hey i belong here so we're gonna put you where you want to be anyways like i'm telling you wise knowing very loyal very intuitive very gifted feist, a bit on the feisty side but it is what it is. What this woman is doing is leaving her community. And this is something she's possibly been doing to you for a long time that you may not be aware of. Someone has been going behind the scenes from community to community to talk very, to speak very ill of you to people. But when she does it, she makes it seem like she's 
you know, looking out for that person's interest. Like if she's talking bad about you to, let's say your boss, she'll make it seem that she's trying to look out for your boss that you might want to be careful. She don't know what she's doing. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's retarded. She's retarded, blah, 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 blah. But she'll, She'll do it in a way where it sounds that she's doing them a favor. Like she's warning them of danger. Like be aware this person does not know what they're doing. They're very dangerous. They may be a thief. I just wanted to come and warn you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't drive all the way over here for nothing if this was not serious. Someone does that. She's been doing it for a long time. It's that she has invaded someone else's life and has gone so far as to even like if it has to do with the social media platform she has someone that has given her access to someone else's platform so she'll log into it or they'll log into it fool around with things so that your platform does not grow so then if she has a platform is growing or it's supposed to grow at least that's what she thought was going to happen but there's something where it's just not going the way that she thought it would because even though they're putting money into it and i think there's a masculine behind the scenes that does not that does not know or did not know what this woman was doing behind the scenes she's been paying to have someone ma manipulate someone's abundance so like your offers your wealth your the resources your connections the communities you're in everything she has been ma causing manipulations and someone is still set on doing this the this woman i don't think she understands that i think someone is doing something because they feel alone they feel like someone feels lonely in life like you you need to find a habit maybe a hobby maybe go get a dog get a cat or something but i've never been able to understand where people can go from being like oh you know just nonchalant about something to becoming so f obsessed like f i don't even know how to verbalize this it's like the energy i'm getting is just someone that is obsessed with two people and they should not be this obsessed it's like there's something where you two you in the masculine you do have a union that is supposed to be abundant, very fruitful, equal gift and take, family oriented. She does not have that in her contract right now. And I say right now because you are always in charge of your destiny. You can always choose to change your destiny. So if you want to end up with a contract with someone that loves you, then you got to do that inner work. But someone out here is not willing to do the inner work. Um, so she rather go out and manipulate, lie, deceive, steal, destroy to get what it is that she wants. But something is not going her way. A sis is going to have to take a new path. There's something where she went to get someone an offer to manipulate something, to lie, to do some type of witchcraft or ritual. Either to manipulate something in the system or to tell some type of lie, mess with your energy, and they rejected her. So what she's go going to do now is go and try to go and try to find someone new that can help her because I think something has been going on for so long that at this point, a majority of the people around her or him, it could be a man since we started out with the Knight of Pentacles, a majority of the people around this person they are aware of what's going on and they don't want to participate. So she may be having a hard time with this hermit out here. She may be having a hard time finding people now to uh, work with her, to cause manipulation, to lie. Because before, this was a whole group of people that was coming after you to slander you, defame you, lie on you, try to even set you up to get you caught up in the court system, trying to find evidence on you to make something seem like what it's not. Like... There's someone that has been paying people to hijack someone's life, to find some type of evidence, to make something look like what it's not. It says she wants to prove that you are copying her, but you may not even be aware of this woman. You know, like how sometimes you have those, you know, those bigger platforms, those bigger content creators, and you have the little content creator, and the bigger platform is stealing from the little platform. And while they're stealing from the little platform, some of them may even start bad mouthing the little platform content creator, only for at the end for them to be exposed as the one being the ungifted, untalented one, unskilled one. This is what's taking place. And someone has been also afraid for this to come out, but it is absolutely coming out. Okay. Someone is going to be forced to live in their truth. And I'm telling you, this woman is still coming up on a way, right? She's still trying to figure out how she can steal this new beginning. She does not know what it is that you've 
uh, you are about to receive because even with you from what i'm getting with this hermit out here you may not even know okay that you are going to be receiving some type of abundance from the universe through someone of course so she doesn't even know what's coming towards you but she's still plotting on stealing it and taking it from you or interfering in some type of way because this is what this woman does i'm telling you she is stuck in her mind trying to figure out how she can hold something keep control or something or get a hold of something so that you don't get a hold of it because she wants to be the one that has wish fulfillment in life she's the one that wants to be able to live that fulfilling life and have you out here being rejected isolated feeling down and out by yourself investing in things that never return anything to you um but this whole group whoever she's been working with there's some type of conflict going on because they have some type of epiphany about all the lies deception and just the karmic toxicity whatever you want to call it that has been going on and people may be choosing to maybe take a different path because you're looking at something from a higher perspective now and leaving something out in the cold you may have like an ace of pentacles coming towards you you're not aware of and this is going to lead to some type of victory for you in maybe in work and in love as well and this is going to have this person heartbroken because they work so hard to interfere with your tenacity your strength your wisdom and things like that trying to make you seem like you are someone karmic and toxic and someone low vibration or someone who lies and manipulate and like and things like that someone that's like poor minded someone that's greedy this is what she's been telling people like all kinds of stuff about you there's this a woman out here that does not have the full one one or this could be a masculine, as I mentioned earlier, that does not have the full one one on anyone or someone that she's been after, but she's been absolutely determined to keep destroying your character. There is going to be some type of repair in your character. Your I don't know what to call it, but it's like someone defend you to the point where maybe even strangers were hitting you, strangers dislike you, and you maybe didn't even know why something was going on. You know, one day maybe you may go into work you're laughing he he ha ha with someone and then the next day you go in and nobody wants to talk to you and you're trying to figure out like oh uh, what happened like you and i were just cool yesterday what the heck is going on but this is something that's been going on for a long time but regardless of how people have been treating you you kept your strength your tenacity you stay calm you mind your business they gotta be advising you all to mind your business on this channel on this platform because it's easy as the abc because you always knew what the truth was going to come out and i think the truth may be out but someone is yeah the, the truth is out something is being balanced out especially when it comes to a king of pentacles knowing who he wants to commit to it may be in work as well or it could be some type of relationship i don't know what it is specifically i think i know but i don't want to put it out there because it's something where i think there are a group of people or someone watching terror readers that someone is abusing divinations to find out what's coming to someone specifically so that they can interfere and block it because they've been doing it a long time getting away with it and they feel entitled to doing it so you will be receiving some type of communication no one knows when this is going to happen no one knows that you're receiving this i think i mentioned this before on my platform that people the group of people that were coming together to destroy someone's opportunities and things like that the actual opportunity that they are supposed to have no one is going to know when that comes into play when they receive it who they're going to receive it from they don't know that because whoever is supposed to give you this new beginning is going to be moving in silence they're putting an end to all of these burdens and anxiety right when it comes to this karmic cycle they've been in with these people or whoever this is that is obsessed so he is choosing to put an end to his i don't know if this is his um wife or someone is just interested in him but he's moving on with his life and choosing to heal because we all deserve that and that is the god's honest truth someone may be coming towards you to kind of give you clarity about a situation let you know why something played out the way it did why something has been so difficult maybe they've been trying to communicate with you for a long time but they couldn't get a hold of you or they've been putting it off because something just was not the right time to communicate with you because this person was under some type of deception some type of manipulation where people were telling him that you were someone very very uh toxic and karmic but there is some type of 
big, I'm telling you, there's some type of big revelation that's about to take place. It's going to lead to two people meeting and it's going to balance something out. Someone knows that you are the true empress. Now that you are someone very genuine, they may feel that they have some type of past life connection with you. And someone may be very nostalgic about you. So maybe they met you in the past. You two had some type of brief encounter. Maybe you had a short friendship, whatever this is. Someone thinks very highly of you. They're realizing now that you are actually an empress. So they may want to work with you to build some type of ten of pentacles. And the universe is supporting this and revealing to them that you, the queen of cups, you are wish fulfillment. Um, not to the crazy one because the person i picked up on the feminine energy that i picked up on is out here causing all this hocus pocus this is a queen of cups in the reverse and she's about to be out here rejected while you are moving quickly towards victory a sister is about to be out here having to work for what it is that she want. I'm telling you, feeling ashamed because you are going to have this new beginning and she's going to be watching you have your new beginning, have your fulfillment. She's going to have to cease fire. But this is someone very stubborn and she's about to do something that's going to help put this chapter to an end because someone is a cold-blooded narcissist. Someone is very dangerous, their mindset. Someone has been doing something for so long, like I said, uh, like they feel entitled to it. Someone may feel even entitled to your energy um it said well i've been having this her, i've been having access to his energy her energy for so long it's part of me now we are one is that no we are not one you're completely someone different else like one person is high vibrational and the other person is a question mark uh, because they just don't know themselves they don't know how to self-actualize they don't want to self-actualize that like someone is obsessed with two people because they are twin flames or soulmates so there is some type of unconditional love there because I keep seeing that is of cups car coming out and going back in. There is absolutely some type of unconditional love for a king of swords in this scenario. I'm being told to tell you, and I don't think this is the masculine that's coming towards you. This is a masculine that's been working with this Jizzy Bell behind the scenes. I am being told to tell you, if you follow that woman to wherever she's going, it's the end of the road for you. You're about to kill your life your, your uh, career. I think you are someone that wants to stay loyal to someone, but even though you may know that someone is not exactly worth the loyalty, you're wanting to move forward with her. As soon as you two move forward, this is what's going to be happening. You may want to reassess your alliances, um, but I think there's a king of swords deciding that he's going to follow a queen of cups reverse to some type of destination he thinks they're getting to. Like they're going to be successful if they just keep going you're not going to be successful. It's the end of the road. So you may want to cut your ties with that lady and save your career because hers is over. Okay. Um, so anyways, so I'm telling you, these are two different people, right? This woman is really a gaslighter, emotionally imbalanced, mentally imbalanced, uh, does not give genuine friendships, but she wants to be seen in this energy. Okay, she wants to be seen as someone very genuine, but she's not. That is not even a, a, a word that should be in the same sentence with her because this is not someone that cares about human emotions. This is a queen of cups in the reverse, remember? This is what she's plotting. Like she wants to communicate. Someone wants to come towards you, communicate something to you, like play with your emotions so that you can feel down and out about yourself. Tell you that maybe a king of pentacles betray you or something like that. Nobody cares, man. Keep the information to yourself because when you come to us, Whoever this is with it, baby, we're just going to look you up and down and leave you standing right there. We don't care whether he, whether he lied on us, gossiped about us, got a car taken away, got this taken away, got that. We don't care. Okay, baby, we're going to look you up and down because that's what uh, empresses do. We look you up and down. We, we read the situation for what it is and we leave you right there. You got a lot to figure out. Go think about it. Okay, I'm telling you, go think about it. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Let me let me put my this is my listen. I want to put my little uh goofiness in check today because this is an important message to come out. But I just feel like there's a woman out here that is absolutely determined to destroy another person's opportunities and beginnings. Once you're living living in fear, always wondering what the heck is happening. Am I going to be in trouble? Is someone coming after me? No, baby. The ancestors got somebody covered. Someone maybe even may even be covered in the physical in the spirit so there's possibly someone watching over whoever you're trying to destroy and you don't know it um so 
just know whatever energy you've been putting out there and hunting um, this is a big yes this is the end of the road for you darling you need to call the truth and move on i know you're afraid of the future because you don't know what the role is that lies ahead for you but you made your bed you're gonna have to lay in it you're gonna have to go through that dark night of the souls and try to heal but whoever you are king of swords you keep showing up going back in showing up you may not want to follow that sister anywhere because it's gonna hunt you in your behind i don't even know why i'm helping you because i got some type of really nasty energy from you you're someone that plays around a little bit too much and you've been doing a little bit too much behind the scenes so you your loyalty to someone is about to have you in a fender bender you won't be able to get out of you two have been out here trying to block offers block someone's manifestation this is even someone that's been doing a lot of rituals behind the scenes when you're sleeping they're there you know trying to steal your abundance so whatever your ancestors are trying to give you they're trying to steal that while you are sleeping and things like that i remember um for example a couple of nights ago it was like three or four in the morning and i'm laying in bed trying to sleep i'm like why can't i sleep and then I thought about it, I'm like, uh, maybe someone is up to something. That's why my ancestors aren't letting me sleep. Because if you're, when you are asleep, you are at a weak state. People can do anything. Anyone can astral project and steal from your energy and things like that. And so maybe there was something very abundant that was supposed to be given to me. Or maybe there was some type of information, message, download, dream that my ancestors didn't want going towards the wrong person. And so they said, ain't no sleeping for you. When I say I laid in bed till like 6 a.m., almost 6 a.m. before I could actually sleep and then had to wake up at 9 something to do work. But it was just... I thought about it. I was kind of, I was a little agitated at first. I'm like, why can't I sleep? I just want to go to sleep. And then I thought about it. Like, you fool. You're into spirituality. You can't put two and two together. Obviously, your ancestors are trying to protect something that's coming towards you. Or your ancestors are trying to protect, yeah, like a download or a message or something. Someone's trying to harvest off of you. So, obviously, that's why you can't go to sleep. So, I just laid there turn on some uh youtube or something i say you know what when they're ready to let me go to sleep they'll let me go to sleep um about six something almost six something i was in the dream land and then woke up that day later that day had a vision of a woman that was sick uh like someone someone is i don't know if someone already passed away but the woman that i saw it was almost like and these, these like things I'm seeing, like these visions, they're getting so clear, it's ridiculous. Like when I said I saw this woman, like you see like how physical I am. This is how I saw this projection. Like she was sick and fragile, skin and bones, just standing in my, my daughter's room because I was laying on my daughter's bed. But she was standing at the door and I saw her. And I said, oh, my God, what is happening with her? Um, but it was being told to me like she was sick and it was the end of the road for her. She was going to be transitioning. And I was just looking at God dang. But there was something like really eerie and murky about her energy. Like there's some type of karma that was playing out. So I just kind of left it. I didn't say anything to her. I didn't try to find out who she was. I just looked at her and said, you know what? It is what it is. I'm not about to be out here confused and things like that about what's going on. Obviously, they're showing me you because there's something that maybe that has been going on behind the scenes that I'm not aware of. But it's something like that, okay? This is what this woman is paying for with whoever you are in the collective. She's trying to pay someone to not give you an offer or to interfere with some type of connection that's supposed to come together between two lovers. So she's, I don't know who this is she's going to. This is like a practitioner. It could be a king of swords or a feminine energy that she's going towards to pay them so that they can make sure these two do not come together. But you two will come together in divine timing. I'm telling you. You two will be coming together, you and your emperor. There will be unconditional love, very successful as well. And this is someone that dreams about you a lot. Your emperor could be a king of cups that's aware of you, but maybe you're not aware of them. And I'm telling you, you two are going to be very affluent. While you two are building your solid ten of pentacles, there's another one that's going to be crashing. Um, there's some... T there's something that's coming to an end so something new can begin. So something is coming to an end for a false energy and something new is beginning for a genuine, for two genuine energies. I don't know if this woman has been harvesting off of this masculine or blocking his destiny just so that he can see her as someone that's his equal. He's not, she's not his equal, okay? This is like this energy. I, this could be like a king of queen of wands that's been out here doing too much. Oh, baby, I said queen of wands. Split my deck. Uh, there she goes. 
heartbroken, sad, distressed. So maybe this is the same woman just in, in her Queen of Cups reverse energy and her Queen of Wands reverse energy just out here in distress, feeling embarrassed, rejected, isolated. Basically, everything that she tried to manifest for you is what she is going through and she is going to have to move on. This is a Queen of Wands. She's going to have to move on. And oh, then I see like he's, there's a King of Swords is going to want to move on with her. Look, 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 look. Yeah. Okay. Sir, so you'll, you'll learn. You'll learn. <laughs> you'll learn. Mm -mm. That sister's going to go betray you just like she's been doing behind the scenes all these years. You, you've been loyal to her. Anyways, this is you too, future. This is her especially. She's stuck in her mind about being rejected, possibly by a king of wands or like a king of pentacles, whoever this is that's supposed to be coming towards another energy. Um, but everything will be balanced out. Whatever is playing out is absolutely karma. Uh, someone is out here just... <sighs> There's a woman that is receiving some type of communication she's not happy about. She does not want to hear. She may even be in a community pretending to be happy, pretending like everything is A-okay. Everything is not A-okay because she knows there's some type of connection that's going to be taking place in due time that she's not going to be able to do anything about because these are people that have been invested in blocking your new beginning and now they're living in fear because they know you two will be coming to together to have ultimate fulfillment together abundance building that empire that has been destined for the both of you to build and it will lead to a lot of options for you to in work new beginnings support teamwork and everything and it's going to have these people out here feeling rejected as well i uh, uh embarrassed because these are people that are going to look back on the past what two years five years ten years whatever it is however long they've been coming up against you all they're gonna look back and realize hey nothing we did was really worthwhile because it didn't turn into nothing we didn't gain nothing from from this right and this is how the universe has always destined it to be a universe that you know what <clears throat> we're gonna sit back and let them do their thing it's it go on do your thing go on do your thing Sometimes they did they got they got real creative with it in the university. How you do that there? Hey, how you do that there? They know how they do that there. They know they, they came up with everything, remember? But they let these people get creative. They said we are gonna go defame her defamation of character. Well, let's do that. We're gonna say what well, he's uh he, he sells S E X online. Let's do that. Okay, we're gonna say she's a thief. Let's do everything you can think of in the book. They've done it, trying to temper with your energy, trying to have you be seen as someone that's low vibrational, come with nothing but conflict, doing rituals, lies, and deceits, and everything to get what it is you want. Uh, just making, like, on, on, uh, uh, immature decisions in the actions they were taking against you because they are just so intimidated by you. Something has become really toxic and obsessive and if you have never been allowed to get this far you should never be this obsessed with another person in life to the point point where you want to take action to go and do them something because you don't want to see two people coming together that is not your place to decide hey if you put in the work into yourself you don't you never know what the universe has in storage for you okay so maybe this Queen of Swords knows that they need, yeah, this is a, this is a practitioner, this Queen of Swords in this community, she, even though she's in the, into dark work, she knows that it's time to cease fire because something is not going to go in their favor. So maybe she's going to do the mature thing and tell them that we need to let this go. Okay. Because this is someone that does play with words and things like that. And you know, they're stubborn. Okay. I mean, they're stubborn. These people want to force things to go their way. It's not going to go their way. I don't think someone knows how much trouble they are in when it comes to a situation or what they stand to lose. They've lost a lot coming this far, but there's still more to lose. And it's just going to keep getting worse and worse and worse. So this queen of source out here that has been, there are two queen of source. You as the light worker, you're in your queen of source energy because you feel like you are in some type of you know battleground like you're speaking your truth this is like a battle of 
words, mindset, mental, intellect. This is an intellectual battle, okay? So this is a lot of manipulation uh, when it comes to your mental or people's mental because this is how the a lot of dark workers get their upper hands in situations by playing mind games, using their words to manipulate and deceive and things like that, speaking ill into other people's life, right? Trying to block other people's destiny with their words. So they are trying to manipulate your energy, but you already know this is the end of the road and you're still going to keep going for what it is you want. Your ancestors are working with you. The angels are working with you to protect this new beginning. So you will receive it. If, when you can see, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. You are going to receive a solid offer that's going to lead to a new beginning for you. And it is very much protected by your ancestors. So they can do all the manipulations they want. It's not going to lead to anything. I don't think right now their focus is to block some type of relationship from coming into being for you. From They're trying to block you from man manifesting a relationship, right? And I don't think particularly you are a focus on manifesting relationships. Maybe some of you are. I think what it is you are focused on is manifesting like your pentacles, your you're, you're like perfecting your craft, your work, healing and things like that. At least that's something I've picked up on when it comes to the masses. I don't think people are so much focused on getting into relationships because I think there's some type of mass awakening that's going on where people are trying to focus on what their income, their resources, their foundations and things like that. Because if you don't have this, right, it's very hard to be full like fully committed in a relationship, right? Because you, your foundation is not set yet. So when you are someone that does things genuinely, you're going to feel like a burden on whoever else is in your life. So your main focus is always going to be, you know, what kind of work can I do? What can I do today to make sure that I'm on the right path? How can I stabilize my foundations and things like that? So I don't think you're particularly worried about a relationship coming into being because I think you already know what's meant for you is going to take place. You are more so focused on your spiritual gifts, balancing your emotions, focusing on the things that you need to need to focus on, especially when it comes to your third eye with this two of swords out here with that blindfold on her is letting me also know that you are someone that's focused on your inner knowing. Now, you know what people are, are out here up to, like you are focusing on perfecting who it is that you are on a spiritual plane, right? And making sure that you're taking actions when your ancestors or your angels tell you to take actions and going for the things or doing the things that you need to do. For example, and this is a confession, for the past three weeks, my ancestors have been telling me to do something when it comes to my privacy, right? Because for the past, I don't know, year or so, it's been like a group or someone has been very determined to just block me from moving forward. And I'm not exactly sure how they got into my personal life. I'm sure there are people maybe I know that help them. I'm not worried about it. Um, but the past three weeks, they've been telling me to go and get something taken care of. And I kept putting it off. I'm like, oh, I'll do it later or I'll just forget about it. Well, I think it was maybe three, four or five days ago. Someone did something when it comes to my nine to five. And it was just like, oh, shoot. I remember they told me to go and do that. And if I had done it, someone wouldn't be able to do that. Right. So that's just what I'm saying. Whatever it is they're telling you to do, you keep doing it. Don't hesitate. Don't procrastinate. Just keep doing what it is. Like put in your effort because remember, you're always co-creating with the universe. So you do your part and then they do their part with you. Okay. Um, so honey, I'm telling you, these people are determined. They're still collaborating on how they can steal from you. Your new beginning has them out here burning, worrying, anxiety, stressed out because you're being seen as an empress and you will be having your new beginning, which is going to help you go through some type of rebirth. Put an end with someone that's very false in your life. You could have an emperor in your life that's very false for some of you. This could be a father figure, a lover, a boss, or whoever. Um, there's something that's going to be coming to an end. Yeah, absolutely. You're going to be successfully ending this uh, um this chapter of your life and stepping into your new beginning so that you can live that life that you've been working so hard to get and people have been trying to block you from receiving this is you standing up for yourself and the universe is commending you for doing that it said yes this is what we've always wanted you to do to use that strength of yours that we gave you and cause distress to people that are trying to 
tick you down. You may have a king of pentacles behind the scenes that has been trying to dismantle your foundation, dismantle your strength, dismantle your tenacity and things like that. But here it is. You are still stepping out on faith, uh, still hopeful out here. And it's causing these people a lot of distress. They're going through some type of tower or ending. There's something where I saw like a message. It says that we're not laughing anymore. So there's something that has changed within a community or within a group. Where it's a it's something has gone from being funny to very serious. So I don't know if someone fell ill or they lost a lot of money or something didn't go the way they planned for it to go. But something has happened in a community where a group of people are just not laughing like they were laughing before. So this would be like them, you know, coming together to cause you losses, lie on you. A lie on you, a smear your character, and things like that. And it was funny when it initially started, but now that something has gotten real serious, um, and some type of decision has been made within a community, it's not so funny because something is about to be balanced out. Um, someone is refusing though to let something go, so either he or she is still going to keep trying to do things from behind the scenes. It's going to be hard for her to find or for him to find someone to work with them because people. Too many people know at this time what it is they've been doing, but that's not going to stop her from trying because someone is just so far gone mentally and emotionally. It's almost nearly impossible to talk sense into someone. So if someone is not careful, they may end up in like a mental psych war for a brief time just so they can get their mental to together. And I don't know how that works because you know, a lot of the times when people end up in those places, they come out worse than they were when they went in, especially like prisons and jails and things like that. People go in. Or sunshine and butterfly when they come out. It's a God damn, what the heck happened to you? Stay away from me. Okay? Something like that. Okay? But a sister is about to go through some type of change because there's some type of awakening, some type of healing she needs to go through that she does not want to have to do because someone feels entitled. Is that someone wants people to believe she's better than you, but she's trying to be you? I've never understood that mindset. Of going out of your way to pretend to be someone else, to steal from someone else, copy someone else, but then you want people to look down on that person that you are trying to be, that person you're trying to embody. And how long do you think that's going to go on? Because whatever's in the dark always comes out to the light. And I think that's what people always fail to remember, okay? Whatever you do in the dark will always come to the light when you at least expect. The tower has to do with something happening out of a sudden that you're not expecting and it humbles you. Immediately you go from feeling so good about, about yourself that you've destroyed someone to feeling uncertain, right? Wanting to, to rest. He said, let me lay down for a little bit. I wasn't ready for this. Let me lay down. I need some rest. Lord have mercy. Can I get a bag of ice? Something like that because now you know you're about to be weighed down and burdened. And these people are about to be burdened because two people will be meeting in divine timing, having clarity, telling their truths to each other, living in confidence, looking at something that a group of people have been doing behind the scenes so that they can understand, have a clear, have clarity, a higher understanding of the truth. It's going to be a lot of thinking, a lot to say whenever you and this person meet. And again, this is not a meeting that's going to be planned. It's something that's going to be divinely orchestrated. And it's going to cause heartbreak to people when they finally realize that what? Oh, my gosh. These two really are going to be working together or he's really thinking about ending this chapter with us. He's not putting up with our nonsense. He's really moving on. You're damn skippy. Someone is tired. That's what I just heard. He said he's tired. He is tired. He's moving on. So he's not even telling people what it is he's going to be doing, which it is what it is. Uh, you may have someone out here that's still trying to fool around with a temperance energy as far as gifting some type of false love offer. So they may want to send someone in to you with some type of fake friendship just to play with your emotion, gaslight you. It's not going to work because you're going to see them at the door that don't even come, don't bother. This could be a woman that wants to come towards you or a man, someone mature in age but not in maturity, a character that wants to come towards you to gaslight you because there's something that has been changed. Something is being attuned with this temperance card out here. Something is being attuned and there's nothing these people can do about it because there's just too much truth that's out. People cannot play like they don't see like they can't pretend anymore someone is upset that they need they have to stop doing it's like there's some type of mental illness a group of people have there's some type of mental illness 
It's like they get some type of thrill out of blocking other people's abundance, interfering with other people's life. And I don't understand that. I never will. Because it's like you want someone to feel rejected, but you're trying to be like them. So you can't even math that math. The math will never math. It's like, oh, we don't like you. Uh, You're not one of us. You're this, you're that. But we're copying you behind the scenes. We're regurgitating everything you do. It, it's it's a it's repulsive it's repulsive as heck and i think there's also someone that's upset because they can't get any type of reaction out of you someone did something when it comes to your energy and they thought it was going to have you all flipping out angry like whatever manipulation this person was doing they thought it was going to have you flipping out maybe you didn't even notice something someone did you just or maybe you noticed and just disregarded it you said oh oh yeah it's karen again she's doing that thing she does all the time she thinks she's doing something new it's something like that you just say uh I'll, yeah do whatever you want to do if it makes you feel better if you love it we love it for you you don't want to grow up that's okay you want to be a child forever that's good you love it we love it for you you like it we like it honey keep it up okay Anyways, folks, thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read, and goodbye for now.